Isn't your favorite question the how much? How many people love that question? How much? How much? Oh, it's music to your ears. When you get that how much and uh, you're able to uh, start to go into it, obviously you need to uh, talk about the process. So how we clean it and blow it and sweep it and cut back the vegetation and we use this kind of, kind of product, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, by using an impulse price, meaning the today only price, I've been a fan of the high-low lower for years. I like the high-low lower. Our standard charge is actually this much, but today only, because we're in the area and we've done so many of your neighbors, we're actually only charging this much. So psychologically, what they're thinking is, well, yeah, that, that, that's what the value's worth. That's what, the, the, that's what a job with a professional organization is worth. This is what CPS does it for. Well, that's pretty good. And they start thinking about it. Right away, you'll see their eyes start going, do I want to spend this much money? So they're going to start thinking about buying at that top price you give them. Then they're going to, then, then, then you're, uh, they're going to like CPS because it's going to be a lower price, but then the today only price is the one that tips them over. Okay? Now, once you get the price, what can you expect when you give them the price? Resistance. A no. An excuse. An objection. Okay? So there's two things you've got to do. The first one is, is you continue raising value. The second one is probably the most valuable question that you will ever ask in a pitch, and it's what were you thinking around? What were you thinking around? How far off are we, sir? What's it worth to you? And then guess what? When you get that price, they're giving you an offer. Let's say you're at 200. They say 150. First off, make them sound like they're crazy. Whoa, sir, 150. Okay, obviously I can't do that. Okay, and uh, I like the hand motion. And when you need to dismiss a low price, obviously that's not happening. I obviously can't do that. Okay, don't even worry about that price. Forget that. But what I can do for you today, sir, because what they said is that I will remove $150 from my pocket right now. They've given you an offer on the table. It's $200. Well, what were you thinking, sir? No, no. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? I was thinking $150. I'll do it for $150. I'll do it for $100. Whatever. They'll throw you out the craziest. And the crazier it is, the louder you laugh. I would thought it'd be like $50. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. This isn't a garage sale, sir. Okay? <laughs> Obviously, that's not happening. But what I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I can do for you. Okay? So let's say you're at the 150. They've offered 150. You're at 200. Guess what? You're not selling a $200 driveway anymore. You only have to sell the $50 difference. So how can you raise $50 in value? Maybe it's a few extra cracks. Maybe you smile a little bit more. Okay? Whatever the case is, you just talk about yourself. That's free. You talk about yourself, that's a good deal. You know what, so you'd really be helping me out. Each driveway that I do brings me closer to my goal of whatever, okay? And you throw that in. When they feel that they're getting a driveway, but they also get to feel good about what they're doing, that is also value. Them helping you out is value. They will give you the sale because they get to feel good about getting the driveway sealed as well. So what were you thinking around? How far off are we? And then sell the difference, sell the difference. And then last but not least, close. Okay, we call it killer instinct. Who's got some killer instinct in here? Yeah. Ooh okay, when you have that desire, that, that burning need, I need to perform, I need to close, you'll figure out a way to close. And if you want it bad enough, you'll get it. Okay, so closing comes down to giving them options, assuming the sale, all right? Uh, do you want to put your car over here, over there? Okay, this is your car? Yeah, awesome, just pop it over here. Actually, better yet, would you prefer to put it right here? Across the street there? Uh, yeah, I can put it right there. Okay, perfect, I'm gonna grab my equipment and get started. And you start the walk. You start the, I'm gonna grab my equipment and get started. And a lot of times you'll see them and they're like, ah. okay. <laughs> they're like, they wanna maybe stop you and they're like, ah, he's already on his way. She's already on her way, okay? So then we go from there. So close high, um, uh, set your goals, if you want it bad enough, you're going to put all this stuff in there. You're going to put all that stuff in there. You're going to make it happen. So uh, uh, dominate the street. Uh, and uh, when you improve your closing ratio, you don't have an option. You don't have an option. You have so many tools at your disposal. When a homeowner, when you've done so many on a street and a homeowner walk comes to the door, you just say, look, that's your script. Look, damn, you've been busy. 
You know what I'm doing? Yeah, I know how much. Okay? So the more you get on a street, the easier your script is to do. The shorter it is, and the more powerful you are at the door. Okay? Thank you guys. Let's kill it today.